Good afternoon and welcome. You are watching the Midday News on Alfred Africa Television. We are broadcasting live from the economic capital, Douala. The headlines. Vote counting is underway in Uganda after polls opened yesterday with preliminary results showing incumbent President Yoweri Museveni is taking the lead. The longest standing leader in the CAF's history is to be recognized in his home nation, Cameroon, in a special ceremony on the eve of the country's hosting of the African Nations Championship, Shan. Stay tuned as we will be developing these stories in a moment. Good afternoon once more. It is the turn of Polika Balok to take an oath before the Court of Appeal in Douala Bonanjo as a president of the Regional Council for the Littoral Region. This ceremony was held in the presence of traditional, local and administrative authorities. The new president of the Regional Constitution for the Littoral Region first engaged in the ritual of taking the oath before the beginning of the exercise of his functions. Listen to his extract. Uh, I feel very proud. Today is a celebration. If you want to have more information, you can discuss it and give you uh, my working plan. Now, maybe you want to look at the objective of how you're the road roadmap and how you do it. My roadmap is. Uh, is uh, uh, I want to work on the, the road development and I want to work on electricity, water, health and school. That is the five positions I want to decide. In preparations for the Shan 2021 Games, referees organized a seminar that kicked off on a Monday, January 11, to train referees that will assist in the Games. The seminar that was closed yesterday, January 14th, was remarkable in that women referees have been integrated in this year's edition, hosted by Cameron for the first time. Cameron's Karin Atezabong is among two other Nigerian feminine referees for this edition. More than 80 civilians died in the latest attack in an area of uh, Western Ethiopia that has seen uh, recurring ghastly violence in recent months, Human Rights Commission said on Wednesday. The village of Deletis is located in the Metekel area where about uh, hundreds of civilians have been killed by assailants using guns, uh, knives and other weapons in attacks going back to at least uh, September. Prime Minister Abi Ahmad has struggled to impose order in a metakel or explain what is driving the violence despite visiting the area in a December. And, and, and empowering a command post to take charge of security there, there is no known links between the violence and a military operation in Ethiopia's northmost TV region, where Abi Ahmad, that the Prime Minister of uh, Ethiopia, Set operations in the northernmost Tigrin regions sent in troops in uh, November to, of course, detain and disarm leaders of the dissident regional ruling party. Tuesday's attack in Metekel occurred between 5 and 7 a.m., with victims ranging in age of 2 and 45, Aaron said. The EHRC, a government affiliated but independent body, is still chasing further details about the perpetrators and how the victims were killed, he said. One survivor of Tuesday's attack, Ahmed Yiman, told uh, AFP Wednesday he had counted 82 bodies and said 22 people were injured. The Republic of Congo's Electoral Commission has announced that the presidential elections will take place on March 21st. They further confirmed that the Defense and Security Forces will vote on March 17, 2021, allowing the Army and police to devote themselves to securing the voting process on Election Day. This is the first time that voters will go to the polls in two phases since the first multi-party presidential election in 1992. The announcement comes as the voter verification process is ongoing to determine the final number of voters for the upcoming Pool. The 77 years old incumbent president Denis Sassoon Gueso has been in charge for 36 years, making him one of the longest serving presidents in Africa. His challengers include uh, Matthias Dion, who is the former Minister of Finance between 1997 to 2002, 
and Guy Vries Parfait Kulelas, who came second in the highly contested 2016 presidential election that Sassoon Gweso won. Vote counting is underway in Uganda after polls opened yesterday with a preliminary result showing incumbent President Yoweri Museveni is taking the lead. This report tells us more. In the election, Wine, a popular young singer turned opposition lawmaker, and nine other challengers are challenging incumbent President Yoweri Museveni, termed as an authoritarian who has wielded power since 1986 by his opposition and is seeking a seat term. Wine, whose real name is Robert Kiagulai Sentamu, has seen many associated jail or go into hidings as security forces crack down on opposition supporters they fear could mount a street uprising leading to a regime change. More than 17 million people were registered to vote and a candidate must win more than 50% to avoid a runoff. This D-Day for polls comes after reports that the country's communication regulator on Tuesday ordered internet service providers to shut down social media and messaging applications. According to reports from Reuters News Agency, the Ugandan Communication Commission Executive Director other telecommunication companies to immediately suspend any access and use of social media and online messaging platforms like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Signal and Viber. Ugandan police say officers were deployed on rooftops earlier today in the capital Kampala while armored vehicles had started patrolling the streets since the beginning of the week. It is noted that this is not the first time the South African nation is voting with internet blackout. On election day in 2016, Ugandan that cut access to social media, citing national security. Then, Museveni was facing a tough challenge from veteran activist Kiza Bissinye. Authorities also suspended mobile transfer of money. In 2019, the government introduced a tax on the use of internet which activists have called in attempt as controlling free speech. The president has repeatedly criticized young people for using the internet to spread rumors. According to figures from the communication regulator, Uganda has 20 million internet subscriptions. Biometric machines encountered a problem earlier during today's pools, while helicopters and convoys of military vehicles are circulating the towns and cities of Uganda where millions are going to vote in a tense election. The longest standing leader in CAF's history is to be recognized in his home nation, Cameroon, in a special ceremony on the eve of the country's hosting of the African Nations Championship, that's a shan. The 74-year-old led CAF from 1988 to 2017, during which he transformed an organization that was near destitute at times into one which he handed over to his successor, Ahmad, within assets of $130 in the bank and ever increasing array of competitions. Nonetheless, just four months after he was dethroned, the ESCO of the new CAP administrator chose to deny paying a pension to the state distinguished leader. We will bring more of this information during our 7 p.m. edition. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying tuned. Up next is Le Journal de Treasure, and 7 p.m. is another edition of the English Newscast. Stay blessed and have a fruitful weekend.